Hello everyone, Assalamu alaikum. In this video, we will be focusing at the second LO, which is performing the integration by parts. This is the second technique of integration. Okay, so let's look at the question three, integrate ln x with respect to x. How do we do this? By integration by parts. Okay, first of all, let's keluarkan formula uh, integration by parts. It is integration of u dv is equals to uv minus integral v du. This formula must be memorized. Okay, so now let me tell you what is the u and what is the dv. So the u here is actually the question, the ln x, while the dv here is the dx only okay so the original questions i mean this thing we will change it into u as the ln x and we will change the dx into dv that is our first step let me show you okay so first step first is let u becoming ln x and also let dv becoming dx that is our goal okay and then next step is we differentiate the u with respect to x we will get 1 over x okay biarkan sahaja di situ all right and then this dv, this dv, we will integrate them both side. Let me show you the magic. We will integrate them both side. It will become v sahaja and then here x sahaja. Tidak perlu letak plus c lagi. No need, not yet. Okay. And then what should we do? We are now going to use this formula, put the u and the v together. Let me show you how. So let me write down the question back. Say salin balik soalan tu ya, which is the integrate of ln x dx equals to the u times v. Where is your u? Your u is here, ln x. So I write it down, ln x times with your v, your v is x. So put here besides the ln x, which is here. Okay, and then minus it with integrate the v. So the v right now here is x. Okay, so put the x there. And now the formula said I must put du over here. But my du right now here mesti dijadikan sebagai subjek dululah. Which is saya terlupa nak letak du di situ. So the du should be as a subject which is 1 over x dx. Okay. So let me now jadikan du sebagai subjek supaya kita berfokus. So du is equals to 1 over x dx. So now I am ready to put my du here, these things inside there. So 1 over x dx will be put into here. So remember this is times, yeah? Therefore, this is the complete thing. This is the complete use of the formula of by parts, okay? You have been using the formula of by parts perfectly now. So now, what you can see here at the back here, you boleh cut. X bahagi X adalah nilainya satu. So you don't have to worry. So now, you can simplify them. It will become X times ln X minus integrate 1 dx. Therefore, X ln X minus U a, bukan U, minus X, guys. Because 
this is integrate one with respect to x. Come on, this is with respect to x. Therefore, it is x. And then plus c. That's it. That is your answers. Okay, you might be thinking, wow, senang pak senang. But how do I know that this is my u and this is my dv? Macam mana saya nak tahu yang ln ini sentiasa yang dipilih sebagai u? Adakah ln sahaja? Ha, benda ini akan saya terangkan pada soalan seterusnya. Iaitu soalan nombor empat. Okay. So now, integrate x times, ini darab ya, times with 2 to the power of x. Ini adalah eksponen. So ini adalah kita panggil sebagai eksponen function. Manakala yang ini pula kita panggil dia sebagai polynomial. Okay, I think the names, the terms, you already know it. So there is no problem for me when I say, oh, this is poly. This is exponent. You dah, you dah cukup faham dah, ini adalah polynomial. Polynomial adalah x to the power of something. Okay, x to the power of 4, to the power of 3, to the power of 2, whatever. As long as it's to the power of anything. A number lah. Alright, so now... As I said to you that uh, in the previous questions that I taught you guys, I said that, oh, yeah, I know. Let's keluarkan formula dulu. Formula of by part adalah integrate u dv equals to uv minus v du. And then you might ask me, Madam, is this u? Is this everything now has become the u? And this one is still dv. Adakah dia begitu? No, it is not actually. Okay, the dv is not is not dx. This is a bit different. This is where I should keluarkan law pad. So law pad is a technique for you guys. It's a tips. It's a tips created by lecturer matriculations lecturer, where they create this to for you. Untuk senang mengingat bahawa siapa yang datang dulu. So in this case, siapa yang datang dulu adalah logaritm. Okay. Untuk apa? Untuk dilatkan u-nya. Dilatkan u-nya pada step yang pertama. Kita ada dua lat, betul? One is lat u, another one is lat dv. But dv ni, itu nanti. Sekarang ni kita nak fokuskan dulu u. Kita nak lat u kepada apa benda? So, ilon will always come first kalau soalan itu mempunyai ilon. Tapi soalan ini tidak mempunyai ilon. What do we have? We have poly and we have exponent. So, our poly is represent as P. Manakala our exponent punya function represent as E. So, siapa yang datang dulu untuk soalan ini adalah poly. So, let you will become the polynomial which is the x. Step yang pertama adalah let u. Okay. Let u adalah yang mana dia datang dulu. Iaitu our poly yang datang dulu. Manakala let dv pula, you put 2x dx is as the rest of it. The rest will become the dv. Okay. Itu caranya. So here we go. Our dv adalah 2x times dx. That is our dv. Okay. So you sekarang sudah pun faham bahawa 2x dx adalah kita punya dv. Manakala x kita adalah kita punya u. Berdasarkan formula ini. Okay. Tapi you always must use this law pad to check which one is coming first. Because the one that coming first will become your u. In this question particularly, polynomial yang datang dulu, therefore x lah yang menjadi your u dahulu. Okay, that is how by parts work. That is how integration by part is working. I hope you understand that. And so we are ready to differentiate u with respect to x, which is going to give us 1. As I said, dalam by parts, kita kena jadikan du pula sebagai subjek. Okay, jadikan du sebagai subjek. And then, akan bagi kita dx. 
On the right hand side here, kita perlu integrate both side. Okay, remember this technique: integrate both side untuk dv, and it will be and it will give us v semata mata. And here, when you integrate two x, two to the power of x, it will give you two to the power of x ln two. Okay, tak perlu lagi untuk letak plus c. No need yet. No need just yet. Sabar dulu. And then, macam biasa, keluarkan soalan. Tapi kalau sebelum nak keluarkan soalan, I think bagus juga kalau kita tulis formula sebanyak yang mungkin. And then kita tulis soalan terbalik. Integrate x to the power of x dx is equals to u v. Your u right now is x. Your v right now is this thing. So make them besides together. Make them besides to each other. What I meant here is. And then u is x times with saya copy paste lah ya. Duplicate saja di sini. Tutup kurungan. Then minus with integrate the v. Put the v here inside of the integration and then end it. Tutupkan dia dengan du. Your du right now here is dx. So put dx over here. Tutupkan dia dengan dx. Okay, what I did here, now I am managed to get everything is perfectly fine. Everything is in terms of x. Okay, untuk by part, everything is in terms of x. Tapi dengan syarat apa? Dengan syarat you must let u and let the dv correctly. Kalau dari sini step 1 pun dah salah, habis semuanya salah. Okay, remember this. You must let you correctly. How do you make sure you are, you are doing it correctly? You must make sure you use this law pad. You remember this law pad technique says that, oh, polynomial that come first. That's why it will become your you first. Okay, that is the tips of integration by parts. And so I simplify these things. I will get this can be remain. Nothing change anyway. Ni kekal. So saya bawa dia turun. And then yang di belakang ni saya boleh bawa keluar satu per ln 2. Sebab ln 2 ni nilai. Constant. So I bring I can bring it outside. 1 over ln 2. Inside is 2 to the power of x, okay, which I need to integrate them. And so, yang di depan ni saya copy paste saja, tak berubah apa-apa pun, masih kekal. Yang di belakang ni, saya perlu selesaikan dia, which it gonna give me, what, can you guess? It is all, it's the same thing, integrate 2 to the power of x is 2 to the power of x itself but must be divided with ln 2. And then don't forget to put plus c. In the end, the answer is, in the end, the answer is just 2 to the power of x over ln 2, but everything to the power of 2 squared. And then don't forget to put plus c. So at the end of the soalan, so at the end of the solution, barulah you letak plus c. Tak perlu letak di awal ni. No need here. This just remain like that. Okay. Because we just only want to find the V anyway. So this is it. This is the techniques of integration by parts. Okay.